All right, thanks, Corrales. Now it is getting late. We know a lot of you are getting ready to head to bed before the big guys visit tonight. But before you all get tucked in, our Craig O'Neill has a very special bedtime story for you. So gather around the TV just for a moment. Now we'll go to Craig. Hello, I'm Craig O'Neill. Thank you for watching THV 11 on this Christmas Eve, this cold, cold Christmas Eve. Let's all snuggle up to the TV, shall we? And, and the fire. Oh yeah, we got a fire. Watch, no look. And enjoy, Twas the Night Before Christmas, the Craig O'Neill rendition. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, the one that was cold. I thought to myself, has this gotten a bit old? Of course not, I said as I took on the task. This is my first holiday season not involving a mask. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while TikToks and challenges danced in their heads. Mama in her cowboy boots and I in my cap. Tiredness hit us like the Oscar night slap. Went out of nowhere, a noise that would not let me settle. I thought it was Scott Colbert and his red kettle. I had no money to give. I was all out of dough. Inflation was to blame and so was crypto. But then my concerns turned out to be moot. When out of the corner of my eye, I saw a black boot. Could it be Santa? Is this all just a ruse? My questions were answered when out stepped Tom Cruise. With his flight suit zipped up and aviators on, he was there to make sure Christmas wasn't a box office bomb. He turned up danger zone and his wingmen appeared. Then he called them by name like Santa's reindeer. Now Iceman, now Rooster, now Hangman and Bob. The rest, former SNL players still looking for a job. From Davidson to McKinnon, the group did all right. They were used to this pressure every Saturday night. Then, out of nowhere, another sleigh had arrived. I squinted to see who was riding inside. It was Santa Claus and someone else he was carting. <gasps> By golly, it was a holly jolly dolly pardon. The duo apologized for being so late. They got locked inside the governor's mansion steel gate. I'd never seen Santa and Dolly so alive. It was clear this wasn't their normal nine to five. The two then made their way into my humble home. I followed behind to see where they would roam. They started in the kitchen. The situation dire. Santa found an empty spot and plugged in an air fryer. Dolly opened each stocking to drop off a gift. For my daughter, she left an autograph from Taylor Swift. For my son, Santa got him a messy football and goal. And for me, tickets to the Liberty Bowl. Finally, my wife got one of her favorite things, a sneak peek of the last season of the show, Stranger Things. Santa's eyes twinkled and he let out a chortle like Sam Pittman does when getting a five star from the portal. Santa then jumped into his sleigh with Dolly Parton merrily leading the way. They climbed to the sky and Santa said, Reindeer, don't meander. Let's go see Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And I heard him exclaim as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. And... Well, the rest, it's because my hearing aids weren't in right. <clears throat> I think it was something like, Merry Christmas to all from THV 11.